Happy Monday, guys. It's a brand new week, and we are ready for uh, son, to learn a lot more this week. And, and I want to tell you about ELA this week. It's going to be quite different. This week, ELA is going to be very short, probably 15 minutes every day. And here's why. This is the week that you have to take the Hamlin County benchmark test for the first nine weeks. And these tests show what you've learned, how much you've learned. And I'm excited to see how much you've learned. Even though you're doing it virtually, I know you have learned so much that you're going to do so well on these benchmark tests. You know what I hope? I hope you do better than the students who've been here at school. I hope you score higher than them. I believe you can. So I want you to try your really hardest on the benchmark test this week. You know by now that um, we're going to do them during our Google Meets at noon each day. And these benchmark tests can take up to an hour. And so I'm going to give you uh, that make up that hour by making ELA very easy because you probably spend an hour on ELA each day. So instead of doing another hour of ELA, I'm going to let you have a little break before you can take before you take the benchmark test. So there's no assignments this week for ELA. It's very, very simple. Here's what you're going to do each day. Every day you're going to listen to a storyline online story. I know you like these. And then you get to go take an AR test on it. So that's the deal. Here's the deal. <coughs> you do this for me. <coughs> Excuse me. You do this for me. You listen to these AR stories, take the test every day, and I'll do this for you. That's all you have to do <laughs> because I want you to have your brain really ready to go for these benchmark tests because I'm excited to see how well you're going to do. Well, this first story is called Snapsy the Alligator. We've talked about um, parts of stories this week or this year. We've talked about the plot, the setting, the theme, the point of view. We've talked about a lot of things in the story. We've talked about the characters. We've talked about having a narrator like we had in The Witches when we read it, a narrator telling the story. Well, this story takes a, a twist on characters and narrators. In the story, Snapsy the Alligator, Snapsy is the character and there's a narrator telling the story. But in this story, the author uses her imagination in saying, what would happen if the character of the story got into an argument with a narrator of the story? Wouldn't that be strange? I see that Snapsy the alligator is kind of a grumpy guy. He's kind of grumpy. And the narrator isn't always saying stuff that's very nice about this alligator. Well, to be honest, Snapsy gets kind of tired of it and goes off on the narrator in this story. So I think you'll enjoy this twist on narrator and characters in the story. Listen to it and then go take the AR test. And that's all you have to do for me for ELA today. Enjoy.